the protests that we've been seeing in Latin America, they do have obviously a lot of country specific issues associated with them. But the common thread that I think runs through all of them is a sense of frustration or a sense that you know, expectations as to what people thought their lives would be like beyond the commodity boom, which ended around, I don't know, I guess we can date it around 2014, 2015, that, you know, all of those gains that they had seen in the years during which the commodity boom was in place, that those social gains would be permanent. And I think one thing that we see across the region is that that's not true. And in many cases, you know, either incomes have stagnated or, you know, po the reduction in poverty has stagnated, people are not acceding to the middle classes anymore, or even poverty is on the rise. That creates a sort of sense of frustration throughout. And all it really takes for that sense of frustration to become a mass demonstration and to spark mass protests is for a government to implement a seemingly small economic measure, but a measure that hits people in their pocketbooks. So while there are these country specificities to a lot of this, of course there is the element of social media and there is the element of interconnectedness, you know, and, and how people feel connected to things that are happening in other places and how they relate even to things that are happening in other places. The fact that we see this kind of contagion effect has a lot to do with this, with the, with the interconnectivity of social media and how the sense of frustration just spreads, you know, and just ignites things that may be latent. When you put all of these issues together, it becomes very complicated for these leaders because if they're elected on votes of repudiation, on the sense of frustration, which is connected with corruption and with all of these other things that I, that I mentioned, they have very limited political capital. And they have, and the population at large has very little patience with them. So it's as if they have to deliver their campaign promises almost immediately. Otherwise, people are just going to go out in the streets and, you know, demonstrate. For me, the running theme in, in Latin America overall, and the one thing that political leaders need to keep in mind, is that maybe they don't have a lot of fiscal space to do certain things. Maybe they do have to enact, you know, re reforms that are unpopular but they need to have one eye on those reforms and an other eye on the social safety nets and the degree to which they might be eroding those. I mean, this is, this is one thing that they cannot afford to do.